Our speakers, today, our speakers today will be Father Piot, and then after Father Piot will come David Phil, who's an 11 year Air Force veteran. He was sta stationed in Afghanistan. Well, these are the Legionnaires and people are the honored there. Richard Wittkus, Henry Latham, Richard Bukowski, Richard Holden, Myron Chudzik, Frank Zababa, Stanley Phil, Peter Wojtkiewicz, Stephen Marshall, and I think we got them all. We would like to thank anyone who assisted in making this event possible. We don't want to listen to the joke because it leaves somebody else. It covers everything. <laughs> to the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, Eternal Father, who alone rules the destiny of nations and have deemed that men should live in freedom and not fear, awaken in us a new appreciation of our land that we might apply ourselves the great work of keeping alive a sense of freedom. Grant us your spirit as we honor those who have fought a good fight and finished their course. On this day, we call to remembrance those who serve in far off places and have laid down their arms to march into the land of eternal peace. Remember the sufferings, the fears, and the horrors of what they endure. It is a time for us to realize that much of our best blood has been spilled all over the world so that we may live a free and unchained. May they and those who suffer wounds for peace, as well as their families who bravely and silently also serve, receive from you and from their struggles a well done from you, who are the captain of their souls. Permit us all never to forget our comrades in arms, from whose fallen hands we have taken up the sacred source of freedom. Today, we consecrate unto you the depth of our nation gratitude, which is the rightful due. Keep sacred the sacrifice in our hearts. Keep holy our path in your sight. And kindle with us a flame of selfless, unwearing devotion to beauty, that we may never be found wanting those qualities of spirit and mind which alone are able to preserve heart and hope, the peace of the nation and the tranquility of the world. We earnestly implore your providential care as we face the grim and great task which lies ahead. May the day soon come when we can lay down arms and more, more work eagerly or, uh, and put more attention to do the justice and peace, to live in kindness and to walk humbly in your sight. And we ask this in, in Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And now we're going to get a few words from David Phil. 11 year veteran of the Air Force, and he's had a tour of duty in Afghanistan. So, we're lucky enough to have uh, my Uncle Stanley here, which who I believe is the last World War II veteran uh, as, as a member of the Legion here. Uh, we've got veterans from Vietnam, Korea, uh, Afghanistan, and probably some Iraq veterans as well mixed in. And uh, all of us served at very different times and in very different circumstances. The one thing we all have in common is we signed on the dotted line knowing that serving our country we may be called upon to make the ultimate sacrifice one day. And uh, a famous quote attributed to Churchill, we, see, we sleep safely at night because rough men stand, stand ready to visit violence upon those who would do us harm. We lose an average of about a, a thousand service members every single year in peacetime and in war and uh, even during times of peace 
remember that there's uh, men and women serving around the world and putting their lives on the line uh, to keep us safe here at home every single day. So as you go about your lives, I ask you to take just a minute or two to think about those who are out there fighting for us, fighting for our way of life here in the United States. They don't do it because of uh, you know the need for fame or recognition. They do it because it's important. It's all about preserving what we have here in America. So thanks for coming out. And now our newly elected commander, Richard Kuchkowski, is doing a hell of a job. He's going to take over and redo the flag and the um, rifle salute.